When you conduct research, you identify, select, process and analyze information about your topic. To do all these steps, you need to follow specific procedures and techniques. And these specific procedures and techniques you use in your research is called methodology. The methodology chapter is one of the most important chapters of your paper. So why is methodology important? It is because it allows readers to evaluate the reliability and validity of your paper. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to write a very strong methodology in a few steps. Step 1. Introduce your methodological approach. This is the step where you remind your readers overall approach of your study. Here you explain what is your research problem. In this area, you can introduce whether you are trying to describe character of something, trying to establish cause-effect relationship, or trying to get in-depth understanding. Now to answer those questions. What type of data you need to collect? Quantitative data or qualitative data or mixed data? Quantitative data are expressed in numbers, whereas qualitative data are expressed in words. Is it a primary data or secondary data? Primary data is collected by yourself, whereas secondary data is collected by someone else. Step 2. Describe the methods of data collection. After you introduce the overall approach of your study, now you can give the details of research methods that you used in your study. Generally, you should include samples and sampling methods, inclusion and exclusion criteria, tools, instruments, materials used, procedures used, variables measured, what and how. You should include your independent and dependent variables. Independent variables are the treatments and dependent variables are the variables you measure to see the response to those treatments. To know more about them, click the link in the i button. When you describe methods, you should give enough details so that it can be replicated in the future. Now let's look at this example, which is quantitative method. This is an experimental study where research are looking at the impact of ammonia in laying hens. Now let's go to the method section. You can see the animals used here. The animals used in the study are laying hens. And then you can see the apparatus used for the study here. If you go down, you can see experimental procedure here. You can see independent variables here, which are the treatments used in this study. As you can see here, treatments are fresh air and 25 and 45 ppm of ammonia created from different sources. If you go further down, you can see dependent variables here. Dependent variables in this study are the behaviors of laying hands to different treatments as highlighted here. For example, latency to enter, latency to commence foraging, the mean length of foraging bouts, etc. Now let's look at another example of qualitative method which looks something like this. Here you can see the sample size, the selection criteria and the procedure used. Step 3. Describe data analysis method. In this step, you should describe how you processed and analyzed your data. This part also varies based on quantitative and qualitative methods. For quantitative methods, you want to describe how you prepared your data. For example, removing outliers, transforming data, checking for missing data, etc. What software you used? For example, SAS, R, SPSS, etc. What statistical test you used? For example, regression, correlation, t-test, ANOVA, etc. Let's look at this example of quantitative method. Quantitative data focuses on numbers, so their analysis is different than qualitative method. As you can see here, preparation of data can be seen here. The authors have used SAS software. Regarding statistical methods, they have used mixed modeling with both fixed and random effect. For qualitative methods, you need to analyze your data based on languages, image and text. You need to identify pattern and themes which help to interpret the results. 
let's look at these methods here as you can see here you can find the software they used here the analysis they used here where they built category and grouped the themes and concepts and examined relationship of themes and concepts so guys to write the strong methods always ask these questions first does your method suit the objective and research questions have you cited relevant resources have you justified your methods is it easy to read and understand are your methods in past tense is it repeatable all right friends that's all for today's video if you like our content feel free to share and subscribe to our channel we will see you again in next video until then watch we inspire and keep inspiring